that that happened. A moment of relief. I yeah. would say it's, it's well-deserved. For a few law students with the University of St. Thomas Federal Commutations Clinic, as Governor Tim Waltz, along with the Board of Pardons, voted to grant Minnesota's first and absolute pardon in over 35 years to Maria Elizondo. We believe that she deserved a pardon, and that there was really only one thing in the way, uh, which was this restitution. Zach Port and Andrea Mettler watched the hearing and decided they would help Elizondo and her family by crowdfunding to repay part of her restitution. Elizondo applied for a pardon for a prior conviction. The board heard Elizondo's case, saying they would vote on her pardon application once the full restitution and fees owed from her conviction in the amount of close to $25,000 was paid. Listening to the three of them deliberate about her petition, we were pretty certain uh, from their comments that she would get the pardon if the restitution money was in. Also, we had no idea how long it would take to raise this kind of Funds and we According to the governor's office, Elizondo, who has lived in America for 40 years, could have been deported to Mexico. After hearing testimony from Elizondo's son, a patrol officer and enlisted member of the North Dakota National Guard back in December, Governor Walt said we cannot deploy this soldier while we deport his mother. In St. Paul, Charmaine Hero, CARE 11 News. Well, with this pardon, Elizondo will be able to apply for immigration relief that her convictions currently prevent her from requesting.